हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आज हम बात कर रहे हैं एक्सपोनेंशियल एंड लॉगरिथमिक फंक्शंस एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शंस किस तरह से होते हैं क्या होते हैं उनकी क्या प्रॉपर्टीज हैं फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल सी अबाउट एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शंस वाई इज इक्वल टू ए रेज टू पावर एक्स दिस टाइप ऑफ फंक्शन वाई इज इक्वल टू ए रेज टू पावर एक्स दिस इज बेसिकली जनरल एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शन In general, we take a greater than zero, and x is any real. In general, we take a greater than zero, and x is any real. But ऐसा नहीं है कि यहाँ पर ही हमेशा greater than zero ही रहता है. For example, minus one raised to power two is one. Minus one raised to power one by three. We take minus one. Although it has three, it may have three values. Uh, is minus one minus omega and minus omega square. Basically, अगर हम इसके complex roots की बात करें तो यहाँ पर जो है यहाँ पर तीन values हो सकती हैं. But right now we are discussing about in general exponential functions. Uh, y is equal to a raised to power x. This is a this is an exponential function where a is greater than zero and x belongs to real. And for a greater than zero, we have three cases. One case is a belongs to one to infinity. This is the most general case. If a belongs to one to infinity, then if we draw the graph for y is equal to a raised to power x, this is a raised to power x. So its graph is like this. This is called exponential graph. This is exponential rise. This is for a greater than one, and this is the graph of y is equal to a raised to power x. यहाँ पर ध्यान देने वाली बात ये है. This is for a greater than zero. This can't be negative. So y is always greater than zero, and when x tends to minus infinity, then y tends to zero although y is greater than zero but when x tends to minus infinity we may assume y tends to zero and basically this tends to zero from positive side right and at x zero this point this point this point is 0 comma 1 so this point is 0 comma 1 when x is zero for any a we have y is equal to 1 and When x tends to infinity, y also tends to infinity. When x tends to infinity, y also tends to infinity. Right? Got it? We will discuss more about graphs later on. But right now, I am giving a basic idea of exponential function, exponential graph. So this is a graph for a greater than one, and for a Between zero to one, the graph is something like this. This is x-axis, and this is y-axis, and this is exponentially decrease. Something like this. So in this case, a belongs to zero to one. This is basically x-axis. Here, this is x-axis, this y-axis, and here it is x-axis, this y-axis. And when x tends to minus infinity, in this case, when x tends to minus infinity, this is interesting. Y tends to infinity, and when x tends to infinity, y tends to zero from positive side, right? So this is exponentially decrease, and this is exponentially increase. So, when a when a belongs to zero to one, there is an exponential decrease, and when a belongs one to infinity, there is an exponential increase. Right? Got it? And the next case is when a is equal to one, then we simply get a straight line parallel to axis of x passing through the point zero comma one, passing through the point. 0 comma 1. This is a graph. 
So this point is 0, 0,1. So now we have three cases A greater than 1, A equal to 1, and A belongs to 0 to 1. Right. But this is also this type of uh, functions are also defined for negative, but right now we are discussing for positive A only. Now let us see some of these some of their properties. The basic properties. Uh, uh, let us suppose, let us suppose, let us take a greater than 0 and a not equal to 1. Why we assume a not equal to 1? I'll tell you later on. But right now, just take a greater than 0 and a not equal to 1. The few basic properties are a raised to power x. If a raised to power x is equal to a raised to power y, then this implies x equals y. Next, when a raised to power x into a raised to power y, when we do this a raised to power x into a raised to power y is a raised to power x plus y. Multiply me, the base same hota hai. Whenever the base is same in multiplication, you may add their powers. So here we have powers ko add kiya hai, right? So a raised to power x into a raised to power y is equal to a raised to power x plus y. And next one is a raised to power x over a raised to power y is equals a raised to power x minus y. When we have to divide two terms with same base, then we may write it like this. Here we have powers ko subtract kiya hai. We have just subtracted the power a raised to power x minus y. Got it? And the next one is a raised to power x into b raised to power x is equals a b raised to power x. When the power is same, you may multiply the base or you may divide the base also, whatever the a and b. So this is also true, and provided b is not equal to zero here. And if we take, if we are taking uh, a is greater than zero, let, uh, we take b is also greater than zero. So this is true for all b greater than zero. The next one is a raised to power zero is equal to one. This is by definition. We have the mathematicians define it like this: a raised to power zero is one, right? So no need to prove this. This is a basic. This is uh, this is basically by definition. And the two points you should remember that one is a raised to power x plus b raised to power x is not equal to a plus b raised to power x. Many students make such type of mistakes, but you should remember only these properties. This type of mistakes done by many of my students. So be uh, be attention, and uh, other type of mistakes are this. a raised to power x minus b raised to power x is not equal to a minus b raised to power x. Basically, I'm taking in general they are not equal. If you take power 1, then this is true. But I'm taking in general this is not true. And the next one is a raised to power x raised to power y is not equal to a raised to power xy. Basically, a raised to power x whole raised to power y is equal to a raised to power xy. This is important. This is an important point. Got it? So, you have to point properties all the time, but you have to keep points where we can do mistakes. And besides, we have told a raised to power x, raised to power y is equal to a raised to power xy. When there will be a bracket, then the power will come to this a. Ke liye right? Got it? Next. Now, 
I, I have assumed that a is greater, greater than 0 and a not equal to 1. Let us take only this condition a greater than 0. Don't consider a equal to 1. So, we have to do this. a greater than 0 is given, but a not equal to 1 is not condition. So, what is the point? If a raised to the power x, if a raised to the power y is equal, then we have to write x is equal to y. Right? x is equal to y. But if this condition, this is the only condition, so what do you have to do here? Then this implies either x is equal to y or a is equal to 1 a1 b हो सकता है, right? I'm taking a greater than zero, तो a minus one का केस हम यहाँ पर generate नहीं करेंगे, but अगर यहाँ पर a equal to one वाली या not equal to one वाली condition नहीं है, तो हमें यहाँ पर इस चीज को ध्यान रखना है, यहाँ पर ये mistake अक्सर हमसे हो सकती है, ठीक है नहीं? a raised to power x is equal to a raised to power y implies x is equal to y और a is equal to one, got it? चलिए हम कुछ basic से example देखते हैं। जो इस इन प्रॉपर्टीज पर बेस्ड है देखिए मैथ्स में सबसे अच्छा काम ये रहता है कि अगर आपको प्रॉपर्टीज सही तरह से आती है और आपको ये मालूम है कि क्या-क्या मिस्टेक्स -क्या वाले पॉइंट्स रहते हैं आप दोनों पॉइंट दोनों चीजों को कंबाइन करके चलेंगे तो आपसे क्वेश्चन गलत नहीं होगा पहली बात दूसरी बात अगर आप उन प्रॉपर्टीज पे पूरी तरह से ट्रस्ट करते हैं तो डेफिनेटली कुछ टाइम के बाद कुछ एफर्ट लगाने के बाद आपसे क्वेश्चन होगा अनलेस कि उसके अंदर कोई एक नई स्किल लगनी होगी तो एक अलग बात है आपके जो सिलेबस का पार्ट है जो जनरल प्रॉपर्टीज हैं अगर हम उनकी बात करें तो यही वो प्रॉपर्टीज हैं एक्सपोनेंशियल की जो हमारे काम में आने वाली हैं लोगारिथम जब देखेंगे कुछ और प्रॉपर्टीज के बारे में स्टडी करेंगे बट फिलहाल के लिए आपको इसी के ऊपर कंसंट्रेट करना है और इन, इनके बेसिस पर प्रॉब्लम अपने आप देखिए कोई भी ट्यूटर होगा कोई भी एग्जाम सेटर होगा वो प्रॉब्लम बनाएगा तो ये प्रॉपर्टी से बनाए तो आप ध्यान दीजिए अब प्रॉब्लम्स करते हैं कुछ एल्जेब्रिक प्रॉपर्टीज डेफिनेटली लगेंगी बीच में बट मेन लॉजिक यही रहेगा